The Chiefs' defensive back position is one they highlighted in the 2015 draft, taking first-round pick Marcus Peters and third-round pick Steve Nelson. What do you see going into 2015 season from these young guys? Well, it's exciting going into training camp because we saw them in rookie minicamp, and then uh, both those guys actually had to miss OTAs because of that academic term rule with the NFL. But we saw them back out at the mandatory minicamp in June, and something I'm excited to see is both of these guys are physical. That was one of the things that everybody talked about when they drafted Marcus Peters and they took Steve Nelson. Both these guys are physical. They want to get up in your face, disrupt routes at the line of scrimmage. Well, during OTAs, these guys aren't pads. They can't really disrupt. There's limited contact that these guys can do. Well, once the pads get on at training camp, you can see what makes Marcus Peters special. Now, you can see his size, his athleticism when he moves around, but where he wins is up on the line of scrimmage, bump and run, press coverage. Same thing with Steve Nelson, another physical guy, maybe playing on the inside. I want to see him get up and get in somebody's grill and disrupt some of those receiver routes. Uh, these guys were competing once the ball was in the air at OTAs, but it's a whole different ball game when the pads come on, and that's when we're really going to see these guys start to shine. It's one of the best things about training camp is you get to see these young guys progress. These guys have a good guy to learn from, and Sean Smith coming off the best year of his career. There's a lot of leadership for this group, not to mention defensive backs coach Emmett Thomas and Al Harris and uh, Dino Vasso, all those guys that are out there helping these guys. Well, Sean Smith is a great one to learn from. He's coming off one of the best years of his career. Pro Football Focus, the analytics website, had him as one of the best five cornerbacks in the entire NFL last year. Played fantastic for a Chiefs defensive backs group that we talk about it all the time. Didn't allow a 50-yard completion. Didn't allow a 300-yard passer last year. Despite playing six games against quarterbacks who finished in the top 10 in the NFL in passing, no 300-yard passer, no 50-yard completion. Those are pretty big numbers and a pretty big follow-up season we've got coming up. Well, they've got some young talent. We just talked about Marcus Peters and Steve Nelson. Well, they've got a good one to learn from, like you said, and Sean Smith. What do you see from Parker heading into this 2015 training camp? I see a lot of good things. And one of the best stories of the offseason was Ron Parker getting that long-term extension. He's the definition of a guy that overcame a lot, that had adversity. Things weren't easy for him. You know, he was undrafted coming out of Newberry College. He had to fight for every opportunity that he got. When he got that opportunity last year, I think he finished in the top three in defensive snaps. He was a huge part of the Chiefs defense. It was number two in the NFL in scoring, allowing just 17.6 points per game. That versatility you talked about, going between corner and safety, it makes things so much easier for Bob Sutton in this defensive group. When you can move around a guy and he's got that versatility, it helps you out a lot. Ron Parker's definitely one of those guys that I'm looking forward to big things from in 2015.